The words law and order are words that Democrats don't like to use. They don't think they're politically good. There's nothing wrong with law and order. There's law and order, and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. They're ashamed to use those words. It's incredible. As president, my goal to restore safety to our streets and to help these innocent Americans rebuild their lives and rebuild their lives very quickly. That's what I'm here for. By contrast, the Democrats are promising to elevate their left-wing war on cops and to bring it up to the White House in the form of sleepy Joe Biden. I don't think that's going to work. You know, I noticed at their convention tonight, these are all taped speeches. Michelle Obama, her speech is taped. Why don't they tell me that? I'll tape my speech next week. I'll tape it. It's a lot easier. I'll make sure it's perfecto. Every word will be perfect. If I don't do it, I'll give it five or six goes. I'll say, pick the best one. What is this? They're taping their speeches. I just learned that her speech is taped and that most of them are taped. I don't know. We'll have to speak to Republican leadership and say, let's tape those speeches. You want to go to a snooze? You know, when you hear it, when you hear a speech is taped, it's like there's nothing very exciting about it, right? So I just heard that coming in. I expected to see, you know, and Fox will broadcast them more than they broadcast us. You know that. We've seen the blueprint here in Minneapolis. The city recently voted to abolish the police department. They actually did. They actually, they actually went to that extent. These people, fools. And to take away your... Second Amendment, they will be taking away your Second Amendment if they win, if Biden wins as sure as your state, and he'll have nothing to do with it. He'll say, what is the Second Amendment? Would you explain that to me, please? That means they're going to take away your guns, and as sure as you're standing here today, if they win, and that's what, uh, that's what it's, that's what's going to happen. Remember this, I am the only thing standing in the way of your Second Amendment. It's going to be either taken away or obliterated. And by the way, many other things, like we lower taxes and like we lower regulations and like we build the strong, strong military and we take care of our vets. We have veterans' choice, veterans' accountability and all things that nobody thought were going to be happening. After the riots in Minneapolis, Kamala, Kamala Harris, you know her? She's the one who finished so badly that she was embarrassed, she ran out of town, and then they said, we're going to choose you for vice president. I mean, she finished so badly, she started off strong, day one. After that, everyone really understood her, understood what she represents and who she represents. And she went down like a rock in water, and she left town before the first vote was taken, right? Didn't she leave and quit? And also, there was nobody that was meaner than said horrible things about Vice President Biden and Kamala, even worse than Pocahontas, right? She was nastier and meaner and more vicious than Pocahontas. So now you have Kamala, who's very strong anti-fracking. In other words, your energy bills are going to go through the roof. They're going to love her in Texas. They're going to love her in Ohio and Pennsylvania. We're against fracking. Well, that's the end of those. I said before, George Washington could be running for office. If he's anti-fracking, anti-guns, and anti-religion, he's going to have a hard time. And he's going to have a hard time in your state, too, because you feel the same way we do. But Kamala Harris encouraged Americans to donate to the so-called Minnesota Freedom Fund. You know what that is? Which bailed out the rioters, looters, assaulters, and anarchists from jail. And Biden staff did the same thing. They donated a lot of their money to get them out of jail so that everyone was right back on the streets. Think of that. This is what is running for office. This is what we're competing against. And the primary competitor, Joe, has, uh, he's in his basement. He just doesn't come out. They don't ask him questions. I said, I wish somebody, they asked him a couple about two months ago. It was like, hey, hi, hi. Are you enjoying your run? Yes. Oh, okay, good. That, that was the question. Are you enjoying it? They don't ask me those questions. I have people, they have fire coming out of their eyes. 